Hello, my name is Dr. Maria Rene, and I'm presenting our work today an ensemble based approach to the detection of COVID 19 induced pneumonia using X ray imaging. The motivation for the work is to assist radiologists in the monitoring and differentiation of pneumonia caused by COVID 19 monoviral causes. It contributes an ensemble based approach built on top of transfer learning models to do just that. And as we've seen, the results indicate an improved performance when using ensemble based learning as compared to a single model. COVID testing, as we're all aware, earlier in 2020, the spread of COVID-19 saw a surge of demand for lab-based testing globally. Our motivation is the use of chest x-rays as a secondary screening solution that can be integrated into pre-existing workflows within the radiology department. It should be noted that not all patients who contract COVID get pneumonia. We are dealing with the substance that do. Pneumonia is a respiratory illness that occurs due to inflammation of tissues in one or both lungs caused by a bacterial or viral infection with chest x-rays being one of the most commonly used techniques to diagnose pneumonia. However, the diagnosis of pneumonia from x-rays is challenging as characteristic features within the image can be vague and often these characteristics overlap with other diseases, adding to the difficulty faced by radiologists in arriving at a diagnosis. The approach adopted is an ensemble-based approach built on top of three transfer learning models that take chest x-ray images as input and automatically classifies them into one of three distinct classes, normal, pneumonia, non-COVID, or pneumonia, COVID. The data used for the experimental work was publicly available and comes from the sources listed. Data was pre-processed, images were standardized to 224 by 224 pixels, and the class weight technique provided by Kiras was used to address the unequal distribution of classes. VGG16 Inception and ResNet were the three transfer, transfer learning models chosen for image classification. Tenfold cross validation was used in training the transfer learning models for both binary classification and multi class classification. Sorry. The ensemble learning technique used in the work is, a, is model averaging, as it is a simple way to improve the performance of machine learning algorithms. A holdout test set was used to enable the validation of the ensemble based approach on an unseen data. To empirically validate the approach and provide a baseline for binary classification, a similar approach to that of AN and UNBER was performed. The binary classification had seven different runs, three of which are based on individual transfer learning models, and four of which are the different combination of transfer learning models using ensemble-based learning. Inception had the highest accuracy, just over 87%, for the single model, and the highest F1 score for pneumonia detection of the single model. But with regard to the ensemble models, the highest accuracy is a combination of VGG16 and Inception, with approximately 88.9%, followed by the ensemble combining Inception and ResNet at 88%. The results from the ensemble for binary classification are not surprising, given the Inception was the best performing single model. The work was then further extended for multi class classification to differentiate normal pneumonia non-COVID and pneumonia COVID instances. The base models produce similar results to that of the binary classification. Inception outperforms the other two models with regards to accuracy. The F1 for Inception is higher than the other two models for both pneumonia non-COVID and pneumonia COVID classes, but it is lower when detecting normal chest x-rays. Ensemble models, including Inception, result in a higher accuracy, and the ensemble model that excludes Inception results in the lowest accuracy being ResNet and VGG16. Unlike in the binary classification, where the ensemble of Inception and VGG16 had the highest accuracy for multi-classification, the ensemble of Inception and ResNet has the highest accuracy at 92.5%. VGG16's other performance could be attributed to overfitting, as can be demonstrated by the loss in accuracy diagram. Um, and this warrants fine tuning of the network, which will be investigated as part of future work. Similarly, the same pattern emerged for F1 measure in pneumonia COVID and pneumonia non COVID. Classes with the ensemble and inception of ResNet had the highest F1 measure. An encouraging finding is the improvement of recall in the detection of COVID 19 using the ensemble based approaches when compared to the single models. Considering the impact of COVID, and that of our approach is intended to assist radiologists, we can live with false positives as they do not contribute to potential spread, while false negatives would be a serious concern. However, the variation in recall across, across the three classes must be investigated further. So to conclude, we presented a 
and solve the learning-based approach with three transfer learning models, AG16, Resident 50, and Inception B3. Inception performed all in models with an average accuracy of 87 89% respectively. For the ensemble based approaches, binary ensemble saw so inception of AGG16 with 89.4% accuracy, and the multi class ensemble saw so inception resonant with 92.5% accuracy. Now, our intent is to continue this work with model fine tuning, and we're also carrying out clinical validation and ongoing project collaboration with Leroy University of Limerick and University of Hospital Limerick. If you want any further information, you can check the website or you can contact me directly. Thank you for watching, and I'll take questions when I'm allowed to do so.